Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for March 20th, read by Kurt L. from Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. AA Thoughts for the Day. Illusion. Most of us have been unwilling to admit we were real alcoholics. No person likes to think he is bodily and mentally different from his fellows. Therefore, it is not surprising that our drinking careers have been characterized by countless vain attempts to prove we could drink like other people. The idea that somehow, someday, he will control and enjoy his drinking is the great obsession of every abnormal drinker. The persistence of this illusion is astonishing. Many pursue it into the gates of insanity or death. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 30. Thought to consider. Many alcoholics are enthusiasts. They run to extremes. Acronyms. Denial. Don't even notice. I am lying. Just for today. Cooperation. From the three legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. In 1949, the American Psychiatric Association did exactly the same thing, recognizing AA as a valid aid for alcoholics. I, Bill W., read a paper at its annual meeting in Montreal. I wound up by describing the spiritual experience as we understand it in AA. As I read, I doubted if even a handful of the audience could possibly agree with the views expressed in my paper. To my astonishment, there was a sustained round of applause, but this was not at all a tribute to me or to the contents of my paper. It was instead a tribute to Alcoholics Anonymous, a tribute to a way of life which had worked for alcoholics when other approaches had failed. This generous response was evidence that our friends, the psychiatrists, were being much more tolerant of us than we had been of them. If we ourselves became more open-minded, then far greater cooperation with this profession would be assured. The association promptly confirmed the view of its members in Montreal. My paper was carried in the American Journal of Psychiatry, and we were permitted to reprint it in a pamphlet, now entitled Alcoholism the Illness. Our standing with the psychiatric profession has increased greatly since that time. Later, retitled Three Talks to Medical Societies by Bill W. This pamphlet also includes Bill's paper before the Medical Society of the State of New York. Alcoholics Anonymous Comes of Age, page 205. Daily Reflections. Love and Tolerance. Love and Tolerance of Others is Our Code. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 84. I have found that I have to forgive others in all situations to maintain any real spiritual progress. The vital importance of forgiving may not be obvious to me at first sight, but my studies tell me that every great spiritual teacher has insisted strongly upon it. I must forgive injuries not just in words or as matters of form, but in my heart. I do this not for the other person's sake, but for my own sake. Resentment, anger, or a desire to see someone punished are things that rot my soul. Such things fasten my troubles to me with chains. They tie me to other problems that have nothing to do with my original problem. As Bill sees it, whose responsibility? An AA group, as such, cannot take on all the personal problems of its members, let alone those of non-alcoholics in the world around us. The AA group is not, for example, a mediator of domestic problems, nor does it furnish personal financial aid to anyone. Though a member may sometimes be helped in such matters by his friends in AA, the primary responsibility for the solutions of all his problems of living and growing rests squarely upon the individual himself. Should an AA group attempt this sort of help, its effectiveness and energies would be hopelessly dissipated. This is why sobriety, freedom from alcohol, through the teaching and practice of AA's 12 steps, is the sole purpose of the group. If we don't stick to this cardinal principle, we shall almost certainly collapse. And if we collapse, we cannot help anyone. Letter 1966. Big Book Quote. Reminding ourselves that we have decided to go to any lengths to find a spiritual experience, we ask that we may be given strength and direction to do the right thing, no matter what the personal consequences may be. Alcoholics Anonymous into Action, page 79. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. When we were drinking, we used to worry about the future. Worry is terrible mental punishment. What's going to become of me? Where will I end up? In the gutter or the sanitarium? We can see ourselves slipping, getting worse and worse. 
and we wonder what the finish will be. Sometimes we get so discouraged in thinking about the future that we toy with the idea of suicide. In AA, have I stopped worrying about the future? Meditation for the day. Functioning on a material plane alone takes me away from God. I must also try to function on a spiritual plane. Functioning on a spiritual plane as well as on a material plane will make life what it should be. All material activities are valueless in themselves alone. But all activities, seemingly trivial or of seemingly great moment, are all alike if directed by God's guidance. I must try to obey God as I would expect a faithful, willing servant to carry out directions. Prayer for the day. I pray that the flow of God's Spirit may come to me through many channels. I pray that I may function on a spiritual plane as well as on a material plane. Hazelton Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. My name is Kurt L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.